Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a dual form set. And I'm also going to be testing out the Melody Suzy 24 color gel polish kit. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's super fun and colorful. And it just says make beauty a new smart. Super cute. When you open it up, you have the instruction manual. You have your 20% off gift card. And you have all of your gel polishes. So you have a bunch of pretty colors, two base coats, a glossy top coat, and a matte top coat. So here's what the bottle's looking like. It's super sleek with the matte top and the glossy bottom. I love the packaging. And at this point, the gel polishes were looking super creamy. Can't wait to use them. I'll swatch them later. So as I said, I'm doing a dual form set with the stiletto shape. Now, I love that these 2B Glam dual forms come with that shape. I do want to say that they ran super small. So you see me holding the standard shape as well because that is what I have to use on my thumb because the biggest size wasn't big enough. So here I just put on my peel off base coat because I don't prep my nails. And for the poly gel, I'm using this nude from a Gershon poly gel kit I tried a couple weeks ago. I'm holding onto that little tab at the end and I applied my product in there. Now I'm just spreading it out, making sure it gets to the side walls first and foremost and then just filling in the rest of it, making it as thin as I can so nothing smushes out. I like to check the sides and make sure that there's nothing missing off of the side walls. And then when it's time to apply, I'm just going to press it on, check the back, make sure it's reaching the tip of my natural nail. Straighten it up a bit, make sure that there's nothing touching my skin. I just clean it up with some alcohol and my brush. And then once I have it perfect and straight, I cure it. I also flip my nail over halfway through the curing process to make sure that the underside is cured. Here's what it looks like after popping it off and now I'm getting ready to do the rest of them. These dual forms had a very square cuticle shape and my cuticles are very rounded. I had to file up the edge of the rest of the dual forms, just kind of sharing the struggles I had with these dual forms just in case you are someone who is interested in them just so that you know that they run a bit small and they're super squared off. If that works for you and you're interested in the stiletto shape, these dual forms were really easy to use. I enjoyed using them. So I went ahead and did my ring finger and cured. I'm just going to leave all the dual forms on and pop them all off later. And I'm just doing the exact same thing. So the application process of this dual form set only took me about 15 minutes to do. It was super easy. Gershon poly gel I was using was on the thicker side regarding consistency. And I found that it was really easy to use and it didn't slip and slide on the nail too much. So if you are interested in doing dual form sets, I definitely recommend getting poly gel that is more stiff. Now that it's time for the thumb, you see that I'm using the regular shape dual form and I will just be creating that stiletto shape inside the nail. So I flattened out the bead a bit and smoothed out the bottom and then you will see me sliding my brush against the edge and pulling product into the center to create that stiletto shape. And spoiler alert, this actually worked out pretty well. Now the curvature of this nail was a bit different from the others. As far as the apex, the traditional shape dual forms are shaped differently from the stiletto shape dual forms. So there was more of a curve in my thumbnail which is to be expected it wasn't too distracting or anything so it worked out pretty well
Now I'm just popping them off. I usually love the sound of popping off dual forms, but I lost the audio in my video. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover and I wasn't able to include that. But I'm just cleaning off the bottom layer of my nails because that is where it got sticky. And now it's time to reshape these nails. So especially that thumb, it really needed some love to get as close to the other fingers as possible. And these nails, the shape was pretty perfect. I was just cleaning off anything that kind of spilled out. And I did the filing process with the hand file. Here I'm just showing you that I'm using the corner of the file and sticking it between my skin and the product. And I'm using one direction swipes to really get off anything that is raised from the surface and just wasn't smooth and making sure that nothing is touching my skin. I did that to the rest of my nails and here's what they're looking like, super cute. And the surface of these nails were so smooth. That's one of the best things about dual form. So all I did to remove the shine was buff them. So the filing process only took me a couple of minutes. Moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all these Melody Suzy gel polishes. Getting into the design, I have this thin nail art brush that I will be using with the color 308 and I'm just doing a V-shaped nail. So I'm going along the edge and when I got to this point, I was checking the nail out to see if I wanted to do the other side. I thought it was super cute with just the one side lined out, but I decided to do the V-shape. I did the same thing to the other side. I'm just checking to make sure I know how long to cure it for. I did it for 60 seconds and now with 420, I'm doing the same thing on my pointer finger. I was really drawn to these oranges, so I took out three oranges and then that red color in the kit, and I'm going to make a gradient, start from the lightest on my thumb, and work my way to the darkest onto my pinky, skipping my ring finger, because there I want to do some gems. Here's what they're looking like. They are so cute. I'm obsessed. I have the top coat that I'm going to be using from the kit. I have some orange rhinestones, a red rhinestone, and some clear and AB stones. So I applied the gems into the wet top coat. I didn't really need to use any rhinestone glue. Here I'm just explaining that I really like the consistency of this top coat. It was really thick so it gripped onto the rhinestone super easy. So that was awesome and it's super shiny. So I went ahead and applied that to the rest of the nails. And here's what they're looking like. They're so cute. Just cuticle oiling them up. Love the nails, they're so cute. The gradient from light orange to that dark red. I tried to use orange and red rhinestones. I think it brought the look together. Now this gel polish was so amazing. I love that I was able to do a design with this gel polish. I only had to do one coat of the V-shaped tip with all the gel polishes in order to get that really pigmented color, which is always a good sign. These are definitely gel polishes I would use in the future because of how easy they are to apply. It was super smooth and easy to glide on the nail have a coupon code for you guys that you can use if you are interested in getting some money off of anything from Melody Susie. I'm obsessed with the gel polishes and this look is so cute. You'll definitely be seeing the stiletto shape more in the future. That is all that I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!